Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. Look at Ivy just cruising around here. She has definitely been kind of on the hunt the last couple days. And you remember last time I fed her my big anaconda, she, uh, I pulled her up onto land because I wasn't sure if she could eat in the water. A lot of you comment like, hey, they eat in the water in the wild. So I'm gonna just wait to see what happens. I'm gonna offer her food. If she decides to take it into the water, we're gonna see if she eats in the water. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, but uh, it's gonna be a pretty amazing thing. Feeding a giant anaconda in her new exhibit, by the way, is always exciting, but uh, we'll see if she's gonna eat. Uh, again, if she comes up on land, then great. If she eats in the water, that's fine too. Ivy, you about ready for some food? Oh my God, let's have a great time together. This is this is exciting. Okay, here we go. Only one way to get in here, that's to walk in. Hey Ivy, hey Ivy, you ready to eat? You ready to eat, girl? You wanna eat? You gonna eat, baby? Come on, baby. You wanna eat? Whoa, she got it! Okay, like I said, guys, I'm just gonna let her go right down in here into the water. I'm a little stressed out. You know, I love my animals, guys, and I don't want anything to happen. And I realize that these guys eat in the water in the wild. So, uh, like you guys said, that's the way it is. And, and I don't know what's going to happen, but wow, that was crazy. I mean, just think if you were in the Amazon and the water is murky and that happens. I mean, that is ridiculous. Wow, that is so cool. So let's just sit back, uh, see what she does. Cause again, I have no idea what's about to happen. She may let it go and just not eat it at all. She may drag it up onto land or she may eat it right underwater. So you can see what's interesting is that she's down here coiled. She'll actually look for the head a little bit and then go up and get a breath of air and then go back down and look again. So uh, it's almost like she's waiting to conserve that last breath for eating to when she finally finds it or something like that. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe she won't even eat it. I'm not even 100% sure. Uh, we're gonna sit back and we're gonna find out together. First time that we're gonna feed Sunfire since she's in her new enclosure. She was always pretty interesting in the past. We'll see what she does. I don't know, she's just cruising right now. Come on, girl. There she goes. There she goes, right there, perfect. <laughs> Again, it's kind of a learning process to see what these animals are gonna be like when they're in here in the new enclosure. So, uh, Sunfur is beautiful. So happy to have her back, and uh, she's definitely settling in and eating well. There it is. <laughs> Next up is one of my Woma pythons. She's always kind of sneaky where she's, her head's back in the back, and I'm never really sure where she's at. And then she just kind of comes lunging out. I gotta kind of tease just a little bit so she knows food is here. Oh, there she is. Oh my God, that's her tail over there. Oh, and there she goes. Whew, I, th I thought her head was over here and she's coming up and kind of ambushing me. You silly monkey. What's so crazy is that, you know, she's underwater with her prey, but she comes up for a breath of air and then goes right back down. It's like she's obviously remembering where it is because when she comes up, she goes back down. She's right back at the spot she does it. She's always searching like that. It takes her a good half hour or so to find even when she's on land. So it's interesting to see that how she's kind of remembering and taking a breath and kind of spacing out. Uh, this is This is bizarre. Next up is actually Moo Moo. Come on, girl. Come on, sweetheart. I know you want to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoo. A little crazy. It's okay, girl. There you go. Whoo. Tell you what. That was that was a little sketchy for sure. She's got that Casper strike going on. I just kind of put her right over there. And you know, with only three days left till the reptarium opens, there is so much work to do, but we gotta still take care of the animals. Gotta feed them, gotta clean them, gotta get fresh waters in with them. So uh, the work doesn't stop just because we're getting ready for a grand opening. So uh, today's a lot about feeding and getting caught up and then it's gonna be a late night tonight because I have a lot to do. That punch list is uh, still quite long and we only have three days left. Uh, 
Wow, I can't believe it. it's just a few days away. I'm not gonna lie, guys, uh, this this stresses me out. I don't want anything to happen. I keep thinking, like, is this normal? I mean, I realize this is how they probably eat in a while, but uh, yo, look at her. It looks like she's literally knotting herself up. Is she gonna be able to get up to the surface for air the way she's knotted right now? I mean, I, I this is I, it's super cool, but it's definitely stressful. Last week, Crackle literally tried to eat an entire paper towel roll, so this guy is never shy about eating. <laughs> As you can see, it's such a cool animal and I'm really considering putting a couple blackheads in one of the enclosures for the reptarium we've got like two or three enclosures that are still yet to kind of be uh, you know determine what's gonna go in them so uh, a couple more things and again with just a few days left I have to make some final decisions pretty quick because uh, before you know it uh, it's gonna be the day we're gonna be open so uh, I think a multiple black headed cage might be really cool still on the fence because they are snake eaters but uh, I think there's a good chance I might even just give it a shot here we go, Snazzy, you ready? And actually, my friend Rhonda that actually raised Snaz and donated it to Zoo is coming up for the grand opening. So this is the first time she's gonna get a chance to see the new place. And of course, she'll get to some time with Snazzers here. Come on, buddy, you ready? You're okay. There it is, bud. And again, that animal, after going eight months without food, is just turned on now. Each rabbit's like crazy. Uh, just a really cool animal. And it's neat to have a Burmese python like Snaz here that's super docile and also like the wild type. I mean, this is the color and pattern you'll find in the wild. Uh, so it's kind of cool to see that along with obviously Sunrise and Jeffrey and, and of course now Marshmallow in the new side. Guys, she's been underwater for quite a while now. I mean, it seems every minute seems like an hour. Like, is she okay? I mean, can she handle this? Again, I know that in the wild they do, but I've never seen it before, so it's stressing me out. Uh, I just can't wait till she's done so I can take a breath of air. It is crazy to see how she twists and turns so freely because obviously she's weightless in the water. You see constrictors kind of coiling up and turning around to aid them to get that prey down their gullet. But in this case, she's in the water, so she's just kind of spinning like crazy. Crazy. What do you guys say that we feed this crazy monkey here? You know he's always insane. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's uh he's a he's a special animal. It's okay, bud. Ooh. Whoa! Come on now, Casper. It's okay, bud. It's okay. Whoa! Man, for such a tame animal, he gets the smell of rodents in the air, and he just turns maniac on me. Uh, I, lo I love that little dude. He is a maniac. Oh, she is crushing it now. Look at how quick it's going down. And guys, finally she's finished, and she just came up for a breath of air. Like I said, now I can actually breathe. I mean, that was unbelievable. Can you believe we just witnessed that? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it because that was, I mean, that was crazy. I mean, I'm so happy that you guys kind of encouraged me to do this the last time you saw Ivy eat because, uh, wow. That was amazing, and I'm so glad my girl's okay. Night Fury just shed out and looks really amazing. Whoa! You just gotta get him to decide if he's gonna take a rabbit. Yep, he is. There you go, buddy. What a beautiful snake, man. I tell you what, that thing is ridiculous. Again, that's a motley golden child, but also has the calico gene in it. The calico is what really makes that dark really dark. At least that's what Kevin from Nerd tells me. So regardless, uh, beautiful snake, uh, getting big for sure. And guys, just so that you understand why it did stress me out so much, is you know, obviously, I don't want anything to happen to my animals. And, and like you guys kept on sending me messages saying, you know, it's normal, if they eat underwater. I've seen them eat underwater. A couple of people even sent me videos of them eating underwater in the wild so obviously that's what they do but you know it stresses me I don't want my animals to go through unneeded stress but I realize this is kind of a natural thing for them and witnessing her kind of go through those motions like they would in the wild was was really one of the coolest things I've done in a long time Jeffrey of course the hypo granite Burmese python actually gets moved this week into a new enclosure that's going to be nice and big. It's actually going to be a six foot by three foot cage. So uh, quite a big upgrade for sure, but he's getting big, beautiful snake. Like I was saying earlier about the kind of stars that's coming up in the new reptarium, I think he's going to be one of them. He's going to be like a sunrise type animal over there. Now that he'll be more accessible and get bigger quicker, uh, I think people are going to love him, but uh, he is absolutely breathtaking. Feed my girl Daisy. Here you go, sweetheart. Let's go. My food? Come on, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, Daisy was fired up today. 
Yeah, she was definitely ready to go. She just shed a couple days ago. So she's been a few weeks without food and uh, she was ready to rock and roll too. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I tell you. It's uh, it's always great to feed the animals. It's cool that the animals next door are getting settled in and stuff like that. So uh, a good day of feeding snakes. Stay over here, dude. <laughs> oh, hope the piece fits. Jesus. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, keep your eyes closed. Dude. All right, eyes closed, bright guy. I'm doing cl eyes are closed. Close them harder. Here's the back piece. All right, man. turn around, man. <laughs> oh, dude, oh that looks so dope, man. Dude, that's it, man. That was it, man. That green pop like that. that that's oh my gosh, dude. That so, is ridiculous. This is actually man. from my house. I just wanted yeah, to show yeah, it yeah, to you. Yeah, this is good. You're not gonna put it here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That is sick, I'll man. Take that. Take a look at oh my oh, gosh, wow. dude. That is so. Yeah, I love it, man. With that green in the back. Yeah. That, that's. I did the bubbles because it's gonna match the bubbles we put inside. Yeah. Oh my I gosh, really dude. That is sick as could be. Actually, you crush it, man. Yeah, you crush this do. one. All right, I got one more thing for you. What? Oh, I didn't geez. even know. Another thing. It's like Christmas here. Silly. Oh, stop it, dude. <laughs> stop it. Oh, my. Dude, what the heck, man? <laughs> that is sick as heck, man. I will not man. marry you. No, please. Yes, I will. Please. Okay, yeah, sorry, Tim. Thank you. How stupid is that? Oh, my gosh. Look I can't wait to show Lori. This will go down. Be, oh, my gosh. Right it looks so good here, dude. Are you kidding me? So Steve did it again, he surprised me with some stuff. I, like I said, the links in the description show this guy some love. I mean, you're an artist, dude. I mean, I, I had no idea. This is amazing, I mean, wow. Thanks, Lori, what do you think? Are you excited? I am, it's actually coming together. It's, it's kind of cool to see all the pieces this is play. this is my baby. The fish spa is the, something I wanted so bad. So uh, and I, you know, again, I, I we, we just talked about this yesterday, yeah, and literally <laughs> you came and you just crushed it with this and that. Oh my God, dude, it is so amazing. Now we just have to upholster this, finish this out, uh, touch it up a little bit, and uh, I'm going to try out fish maybe tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> We're trying to cover all of the wood, obviously. The more we can cover, the better this is going to look. You know what I mean? So uh, so the idea is just to have this grip tape on the bottom here. See if I can't get this uh, all situated. Tell you what, the fish pod's looking dope. Unbelievable with ivy. Uh, again, probably top 10 coolest animal things that I've done with my own animals today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And thank you guys for watching. As always, you mean the world to me. You know I have a podcast called Checking In. You can subscribe to it right over here. I think that you'll enjoy it, please. Over here, you can run through a playlist of vlogs. Subscribe to the vlog channel right there. Turn those post notifications on for me. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone. Three days left. I'll see you guys tomorrow.